Hello everybody! I bring you great news. The devs have released a fishing update. It's not a DLC either. It's in the base game so you can access it for free. I've come out here in this awesome boat here and we're gonna actually go fishing. They introduced a new um, a new tool called the fishing rod. Um, it's a little buggy as long as you don't but as long as you don't equip it while the thing is on the inside of a block, you should be fine, or in a different room, you should be fine. That's the only bug with it I found, but that's not a big deal. Um, so this is the fishing rod. Um, we can look at it here and see it's a very ge ge generic fishing rod, you know, not, not nothing special. Either way, we're gonna go and fish. I have no idea how any of this works. Right, so, um, this is gonna take probably a bit before we catch our first fish. Also, fish can be stored in hoppers when caught. Um, so let's just get over here to the side. Oh yeah, this thing is still moving because there's no option for zero photo. All right, so you can you can hold left click, and that'll reel it up, and then you can cast the rod. I wouldn't recommend throwing it out that far because you kind of want to be able to see if you got a fish, but you also want to be able to see the rods like the thing as well. So it's kind of, okay, I can see that, okay. You want to be able to see the bobber, you can press R to reel it in. I, I don't exactly know how this works, so this might take a few tries. Okay, I think I, I think I got one. Yeah, I got a macro, okay. So that's how that works, you just gotta reel it in as soon as you see it. So let's teleport to the front here where I have a hopper. And you can store the fish, it's just, can you eat the fish? No, you can't, okay. And then you can you can store the fish on the inside. You can obviously store core in here as well. Also, this is kind of this is a bug, but the dev developers kind of just copied the description of the welding torch and put it on the fishing rod. So this the fishing rod now has the same description as the welding torch. Um, so uh, that's kind of an oopsies on their part. Not a big deal though. Looks like we got another yeah, we got another one this time we got a salmon. You know, I kinda expected fishing to be harder. Let's put that away so we can go faster. Um yeah, I kind of expected fishing to be harder to do. Um how many can we fit in here? Okay, so it looks like you can only fit like one type of each fish into a hopper. So I can I can only put the macro on there and not the salmon. I can only put macro on there now. I can only put either mackerel or salmon or just just one type of each fish. Um, that's not gonna work. It might this might be so easy because my fish spawn rate is like at max. Yeah, we we got a spade fish. This is one of those glowing fish. And then of course we can we can let them go back into the water, let them go free. But we're gonna keep this this we're gonna we're gonna dump this salmon back as well. Do they actually swim off? Oh, okay, they do. That's that's kind of cool actually. Anyways, um, let's see how fishing works in, ra in waves. I don't imagine this is going to be much different, other than I won't be able to see anything through the ocean foam. Actually, you no, know, the bobber is actually quite visible, surprisingly. But it's going to get carried away, so, yeah. Um, anyway, let's check out the new mechanics. So, we need to go back to base here. Let's go back to the creative island. Turn off the wind, and then just go into here. Um, so if we look at the patch notes for the updates, I'm going to yeah, if we look at the patch notes for the update, so fish system overhaul, behaviors and items and animation and sounds have been changed. The, they added the item vacuum hopper block, I'm assuming what that'll do is that'll just like suck in blocks, or not blocks, some fish or just other resources and then they added um train like fish markets and they added new map label icons as well and then there's some bug fixes as well and this is version 1.10.0 anyways that's that let's see if we can um test out this new block so i'm just gonna get eh, one of my boats um yeah I, I, yeah let's just grab one of our boats here so i'll just go and grab the this boat here from the first video I ever uploaded and we're gonna go and we're gonna see here so there's the hopper okay so 
the vacuum duct. So what I'm assuming this does, um, I probably need an actual hopper first. So just get that. And then I'm assuming, wait, hold on, let's put it upside down. No, nope. in like this. Yeah, so it goes on the sides here, like where these ducts are, not on the thing at the top. And then, so it like, okay, that's the, here's the logic. This is the on button, it takes power. All right, um, we'll delete the those and we're just gonna get toggle button. See if we can get this working. So that's gonna be gonna go into there and then that's gonna go to that battery. So what goes on like this and like we can place regular blocks here. Maybe another hopper goes on this end. And maybe we can like transfer things between hoppers. Let's see. We'll have to catch another fish. If fish are, if fish are even spawning here. Probably not. Let's go over here and secure this poor seagull away. Okay, don't see any fish here either. Let's go to this island over here. Might be more. Okay, why are there like no fish spawning? Maybe hit the main island over here. Maybe it'll spawn. Maybe one will spawn near us. Who knows? Okay, we got one. Never mind. That that actually failed. Oh, oh no, it didn't. Uh, wait, did it? No, yeah, it did. Okay, let's try that again. Let's get the light at a different angle. Oh, that's even worse. Get the light at a better angle so we can actually see. Okay, it looks like we got one hooked on. Oh, it pulled us into the water. Are you kidding me? Um, okay, let's try it. It pulled us into the water. Cool, now the fish don't want to spawn. Um, let's let's move over here so we can get closer to the edge without getting pulled in. So yeah, I'm assuming fishing close to land isn't going to be the best thing. So if you want to fish and be successful with it, you should probably go out to the actual ocean instead of just fishing by the shore because I'm getting like no fish at all so maybe it'll be some like in a in the river over here okay I fill in again yeah definitely definitely use a boat so I'm just gonna go back and get that my goodness that ship is still honking um okay so let's see okay, let's try over here we're just gonna go off the back here these things go far um you barely you barely hold it and it goes extremely far so it's not that big of a deal though okay here's a fish okay so if you put into this hopper and we press the button oh oh yeah turn that on i know get rid of the coal okay i'm assuming you have to get the coal out of thing and make sure the hopper is actually empty it's probably a setting you could do to change that so on the trout coal trout um not seeing anything. What if I put the trout in there? Okay, see so yeah, how that's what this does. You put the trout in here, and the vacuum sends it into another hopper. So the bottom of it, or the narrow part, goes to the like thing you want to take stuff out of, and then the wide part goes and you want to put stuff in. Turn it off. It's not going to go in there. If we turn it on, it's going to go in there. Okay, so that's nice to know if you guys didn't know how to use those components. Now you do. Alright, so let's see if they added anything else. I know about that fishing rock bug. Um, you can... <laughs> a large equipment storage unit containing a welding torch. More on the fishing rod description. Um, the fishing rod, okay. So, if I look back, that should be all they added besides bug fixes. Um, and the, yeah, that's the only block they actually added. And yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. So, yeah, bye.